Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about an optic instrument called the kaleidoscope. So, what is a kaleidoscope? A kaleidoscope is a cylindrical optical instrument consisting of two or more mirrors arranged in a pattern to create a symmetrical reflection of objects placed at one end of the instrument. It typically contains loose, colorful objects such as glass beads, pebbles, or other small items, which form intricate patterns when viewed through the viewing end of the kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscopes are primarily used as toys or artistic objects to provide visual stimulation and a sense of wonder. They are admired for their ability to transform mundane objects into captivating and interested patterns, making them a source of fascination for people of all ages. Then how can the kaleidoscope create these patterns? So, the kaleidoscope utilizes the principle of reflection in plane mirrors to create its visual effects. The multiple mirrors inside the kaleidoscope reflect and duplicate the images of the objects placed at one end of the instrument. This process is based on the same concept of reflection as the theory of reflection in a plane mirror. The kaleidoscope's mirrors are typically arranged in a triangular or cylindrical pattern, which allows for multiple reflections to occur. Each reflection creates a new image of the objects, resulting in a symmetrical and interested pattern. And this pattern formation is governed by the laws of reflection, such as the angle of incidence being equal to the angle of reflection. And just like in a plane mirror, the kaleidoscope's mirrors reflect light rays, creating virtual images. The virtual images produced within the kaleidoscope appear to be behind the mirrors and form a seemingly infinite series of reflections. Therefore, the kaleidoscope employs the fundamental principle of reflection in plane mirrors to generate its captivating visual displays. It is an artistic and imaginative application of the theory of reflection, allowing us to appreciate the beauty of symmetrical patterns and colors. So what is the theory of reflection in a plane mirror in short? Well, it states that when light rays hit a flat mirror, they bounce off the mirror surface and reflect back with the same angle at which they hit the mirror, but in the opposite direction. This phenomenon is known as specular reflection. And now, after we had discussed about the definition and theory of the kaleidoscope, I'm going to tell you about how to make the kaleidoscope itself. And creating a physical kaleidoscope requires a few materials and some basic crafting skills. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a simple kaleidoscope. But first of all, the materials that are needed are silver paper, clear plastic or glass, craft glue or tape, cardboard tube, sequins and scissors to begin prepare three mirrors two of them has the same shape and one of them is smaller and assemble them by using glue or tape to form like a rectangular shaped mirror Then, put inside the rectangular form mirror into the cardboard tube. Please remember to not push them too deep. After that, make a small hole at the cap of the cardboard tube using a scissor. Please make sure to not make the hole too big. After that, place the cap back to the cardboard tube. 
and then the next step is to cut two circles of Mika papers. Stick one of the Mika paper at the end top of the cardboard tube. Okay, so the next step is to prepare the cardboard ring and then stick it on top of the Mika paper that has been sticked recently. Then put any decorative materials inside, either it's sequins or beads or any kind. For the next step is we're going to stick the, the other Mika paper to the very top of the cardboard ring. And there you have it, the kaleidoscope. And now I'm going to make it much more fancy by decorating it with the silver paper that we had prepared earlier. Here I'm measuring the paper so it can fit perfectly to the kaleidoscope. And there you go, the final result of the kaleidoscope with a little bit of fanciness in it. I hope that this video is helpful and useful for you guys to make a kaleidoscope. And I also hope that you like this video. And thank you for watching everyone.